Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome. Welcome to morning prayer. And it's good to have your company, and it's good to welcome our dear sister Jan. And thank you for the sound and vision check, and blessings to those of you who've not logged in. Be patient with us this morning because the live stream channel seems to be a little sluggish. It could be due to the weather in space, but whatever reason, we bless it and we give thanks to God. I've lit my candle this morning and I'd like to dedicate morning prayer for the children of Abraham and for our Muslim brothers and sisters who've entered Ramadan. So let us now come into the presence of God, a God who has many names, Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, God, Supreme, Source, the I Am Presence. And let us invoke the presence of God upon the children of Abraham to live in unity and peace and to put down weapons of war. Amen. And we begin with a prayer of thanksgiving from our little book of prayers from my owner. In the beginning, O God, you shaped my soul and set its weave. You formed our bodies and gave it breath. Renew us this day in the image of your love. O great God, grant us your light. O great God, grant us your grace. O great God, grant us your joy this day and let us be made pure in the well of your health. And now we come to the Tuesday morning prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday morning, we commune with the angel of joy, saying, angel of joy, descend upon earth and give beauty to all beings. As you say this, you contemplate yourself absorbing vibrations of joy from the beauties of nature as you contemplate the colors of sunrise and sunset, the song of a bird or the aroma of flowers. And today, more than any other day, the children of Abraham need to experience the angel of joy in their life because there is so much gloom and doom and peddlers of sad times and prophecies. Let us embrace the angel of joy and celebrate that as a child of God, we should be children of joy so let that be our motto for today. I am a child of God. And our mantra, as a child of God, I embrace joy. Joy. Okay. I'm going to begin with a soul reflection from a great Irish poet, mystic, and who was a Catholic priest but left his priesthood due to being disillusioned by the doctrines and dogmas and the hypocrisies within his church, sadly the Catholic Church. John O'Donoghue has truly touched many lives. He touched mine and he has written extensively on Celtic spirituality. And I'm going to read to you today a soul reflection to begin your day with God in joy. I arise today in the name of silence, in the womb of the word, in the name of stillness, home 
of belonging, in the name of solitude of the soul and the earth. I arise today blessed by all things, wings of breath, delight of eyes, wonder of whisper, intimacy of touch, eternity of soul, urgency of thought, miracle of health, embrace of God. May I live this day compassionate of heart, clear in word, gracious in awareness, courageous in thoughts, generous in love. And that is from the late John O'Donoghue, to bless the space between us, an amazing book that really does melt the heart. We're going to begin now with a reading from Psalm 64 of the Old Testament Bible. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us are offences, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Saviour, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas and the roaring of the waves and the tumult of its peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, you soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy, yes, they sing. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. Let us just reflect on the words we've shared with you, that as a child of God, we should stand in the presence of God and shout for joy shout and sing with joy. I'm going to read to you, if I may, a reflection by Sarah Young from Jesus Calling. I haven't chosen it. I'm just going to call on our father Abraham to touch a reading for today. Ah, I am involved in each moment of your life. I have carefully mapped out every inch of your journey through this day, even though much of it may feel haphazard. Because the world is in a fallen condition, things always seem to be unraveling around the edges. Expect to find trouble in this day. At the same time, trust that my way is perfect, even in the midst of so many imperfections. Stay conscious of me as you go through this day, remembering that I never leave your side. I never leave your side. Let the Holy Spirit guide you step by step protecting you from unnecessary trials and equipping you to get through whatever must be endured. As you trudge through the sludge of this fallen world, keep your mind 
in heavenly places with me. Thus the light of my presence shines on you, giving you peace and joy. There's that word again, joy, that circumstances cannot touch. Clearly the Spirit of God is saying to each one of us, a child of Abraham, a child of God, that we should bring joy back into our lives, that we should disconnect from the drama queens, from the negative news that we read, from all the negativity about the recent results of the referendum on leaving Europe. There are so many people trying to discourage those who wanted out of Europe and who wanted to give power back to our parliament instead of being run by Brussels and many unelected bureaucrats who were greedy and who really didn't deliver the goods but who shackled God's children with so many weights and measures. So now we are free. So today we pray for the children of God, the children of Abraham's God, to rise up with joy and to dispel fear and negativity and those who peddle bad news. We pray for Nicola Sturgeon, who's the leader of the Scottish uh, National Party, who seems to be hell-bent on trying to get an ancient law to overrule the ordinary people's decision of this land to remain out of Europe. We pray that the Spirit of God will silence her. I sense she has an agenda that the people of Scotland should pull rank. We pray for unity with Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and Great Britain. We come now to our morning intercessions. So let us just relax for a moment. Let us just relax into the presence of God. And let us sense the peace of God. For the peace of God transcends all understanding. And now I want to dedicate this beautiful song, What Color is the Wind, to each one of you.
this day and into every heart of every child of God whether they believe in God or disbelieve in God our prayer here is for all God's children regardless of the color of their skin their gender orientation or their belief and our duty as interfaith Franciscans is to embrace the compassion of God in every child of God and to leave judgment to God alone. So let us come now and let us bring our requests as children of joy to a God of joy. From all eternity, God chose Mary to be the mother of Christ. Therefore, she is above all other creatures, both in heaven and on earth. And with her we proclaim, Father, Mother, God, your son Jesus gave his mother to the world a perfect example of faith. May we accept your word in faith as she did. Mary listened to your voice and brought your word into the world. By answering your call, may we too bring your Son to all men and women and children who are seeking truth today. You strengthened Mary to stand at the foot of the cross and filled her with joy at the resurrection. By her intercession, lighten our sorrow and reinforce our hope and our joy. Let us now spend a moment in the presence of the God of Abraham, a God of joy, and share from your heart whatever ails you or troubles you this day. Lord Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Together with all the great teachers and prophets and ascended masters, you have shown us a simple way, the way of detachment from drama and fear. You have called us to be a people of joy. You've invited us to be a part and to sing your praises of joy wherever we can, whenever we can. This morning I bring to you all who are gathered here and who will watch this live recording. 
I bring our dear Jan with her requests. And she prays for the peace in the world and holding all of us as one. And yes, a big hug to you too, Jan, and to all here. I pray for our prayer leaders, dear sister Sue and Eleanor, and all the members of our community, past and present, for all our friends and those who support the vision of God, to reach out to all faiths and none, and to welcome them into our family without judgment or recrimination, but to see in them the God of joy. We pray today for Brexit, for the many who voted to come away from Europe, not from the people of Europe, but from the bureaucracy that was strangling many of us. We pray today that we can still be united as brothers and sisters of God, children of God, with those in Europe. We pray today that the scaremongers among us and those who peddle defeat and indecision, that you will touch them, especially Nicola Sturgeon and those who have opposed Brexit. We pray for all our political leaders and members of parliament, that they will unite now that the vote has been made and the decision to leave and to begin a new life, a new journey. And I believe this is God's way for us. So we pray today for every child of Abraham, Jew, Muslim and Christian, to learn to love one another, to forgive one another, and to embrace a God of joy in each other. We pray today especially for universal peace and for all who work for peace, especially with our youth. And I bring our dear sister Nina in America, who established an amazing charity, a not-for-profit from America over 30 years ago, working with young people from all faiths, colors and creeds to establish peace movements and their latest project is to have a peace project at Auschwitz in Germany. So we pray for Nina and her tireless selfless work, an amazing lady, a Jewish lady who really does touch your heart. My nickname for her is Sister Bling because each time we Skype she's bedecked in the most beautiful jewelry and I just love her heart because she is just an amazing child of God, a true daughter of Abraham. But I pray today for all religious leaders to unite together and to support the marginalized, especially the migrants, and to follow our Holy Father Pope Francis' example by taking the migrants, the women and children into those empty monasteries and vicarages around Europe and here in the UK. We pray for po ah, Auschwitz in Poland, stand corrected. We pray for the peoples of Europe to love one another, to forgive one another and to remain united in mind, body and spirit. But for those who feel oppressed, we remember them. For those who've lost faith, we remember them. And for those who are struggling by the wayside, we remember them. And for those who are taken into prostitution and slavery, especially the 30,000 children, migrant children, who've disappeared off the face of the earth, we pray for them and we ask the Archangel Michael to protect them. Let us now be still. Let us reach out and touch each other's hand and let us sense the power of God 
present here and that what we have prayed for here this morning it too will come to pass so we pray the beautiful prayer that sister Miriam sent me from New Zealand from the Anglican daily prayer book eternal spirit earth maker pain bearer life giver source of all that is and that shall be father and mother of us all loving God in whom is heaven the hallowing of your name echo through the universe the way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world your heavenly will be done by all created beings and your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth with the bread we need for today feed us in the hurts we absorb from one another forgive us in times of temptation and test strengthen us from trials too great to endure spare us from the grip of all that is evil free us for you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forevermore amen amen so be it and now we come to our closing prayer in our little book of prayers from my owner and what is it for today just bear with me a moment ah the celtic blessing god before us god behind us god above us god beneath us we on your path O god you O god on our way in the twistings of the road in the currents of the river be with us by day be with us by night be with us by day and by night and as i blow out this flame i thank the lord christ for touching each one of you today amen so thank you dear friends for joining me this morning and i look forward to your company again soon. Sister Eleanor will be here at five o'clock this evening to lead Vespers. I hope you can join her. But for now, have a beautiful day. Namaste, shalom. Inshallah, paxet bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of your God Goddess reawaken in your heart the I am presence of God, a God of joy, a God of peace, a God of love. God bless you.